I like that pink. How many do we do? Honestly, one, maybe two. Um, yeah. Ten. Hello and good morning everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic start to your day. It was a little hard to wake up this morning for school. We are ready to tackle the day. We have big things happening today and we're gonna take you along with us. I'm just getting the kids off to school and I had to show you their lunch because this is the first time I've done a breakfast lunch for them. Eggos for the kids. On Mondays they usually serve breakfast at the school. So I did Eggos, some syrup in a little tiny jar, one of these. I got those from Walmart. And then I did apple, cinnamon, veggie straws, an orange fruit by the foot, and a danimal for them. I feel like their breakfast is gonna be pretty awesome, you guys, and I'm still really loving these containers. And that syrup will sit upside down, but it's in an airtight container, so it should be totally fine. Quite the lunch today. Kids are off to school, and it's a good thing because we need an empty house right now. We need quiet, we need calm, because the storm is coming. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, today is the day that I have been waiting for for approximately four months. Well, That's not a joke. Almost longer than that now. Our couch got delivered last week, as you saw. And the couch, as you know, is the first piece of a complete and utter room remodel. I don't know. I mean, we've done remodels to like the kids' room and everything, but you guys, we are going top to bottom, fan to carpet. Like, we've like, done everything. Like, we're not everything. painting and putting a new carpet, but as far as decor goes or any main piece of furniture, yeah. completely new. Ceiling fan, you saw. I showed Papa Bob how to put that in. It's working pretty good so far. Couch, you've seen. It's in here. Other than that, I don't know that you've seen much. Today, you're going to see it all. We've got a decorator coming over to help us put it together. Yes. She's actually been working with Mindy along the way the entire time. Uh, like, five months ago, we started working together. They've been texting, emailing, sending back and forth, like, pins and different ideas for ottomans and decoration all pieces. The things. As somebody who has no idea, I see a room in there full of decor that I just don't understand. So I can't wait to see how that comes out. I see basically the equivalent of like a foam pit of throw pillows in that room. So I don't know where all of those are going. I see random pieces of driftwood. I see chains made out of wood. I see dead people. I see a mirror the size of a wall. All of that coming in here, setting it up. It's gonna be beautiful. Decorator's on the way. Should be here in a minute. And we're gonna take you along for the entire process as we decorate this room. The big, huge reveal, everything we've done, why we've done it, and where it's from. Before we get started, I had to tell you, I hung that by myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. This is my amazing friend Lauren from Project Weekly. Check her out on Instagram. Her house and her space is absolutely incredible. <laughs> I reached out to her and I was like, okay, I love your design, I love your style. Please come help me. So she has picked out everything in this room from rug to fan to everything. So you're gonna watch us put it all together. It's gonna be beautiful. remember I bought this coffee table a couple weeks ago and I actually got it on a deal because it has a small break right here but I figured it was worth saving money on to put the money somewhere else fixable beautiful I love it in here I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> the whole thing on the rug but at least the feet at bare minimum okay. not all four feet but at least the front feet has to be on the okay rug. oh that's perfect so they're going through decorations in there, some of the accent pieces, things like that. But I had to show you as we brought up some of the main pieces that we've been hiding. You guys did see this, but you haven't seen this little table and these sets of chairs that have been down in the basement. We actually had them in Maddie's room and it kind of made a nice little companion to her room. We thought about even leaving them there. I do think we might get something similar for her room, another room on our remodeling schedule. First time ever, we're gonna be closing that area off with some table and chairs. What do you guys think? Let us know. Getting the big pieces out and put in first and they're gonna grab kind of the more medium sized pieces than the small decor of the details. Last so far, loving it. How amazing is this mirror? This is why we have hers, because I would not know what to do with this. <laughs> and we ordered tons of throws, you guys, like tons and tons of throws. We have at least like seven or eight of these. Yeah. <laughs> and we ordered a ridiculous amount of pillows. Yeah. But you guys, we just moved all the furniture down in the basement, so I kind of feel like whatever we don't use here, we'll put that down in the basement because we have no pillows down there. Two for one. Getting rid of the pillows that actually come with the couch. I don't tell you that when you buy a couch, that the pillows it comes with are useless. Something that she just did, which is something that I've learned, you put the pillow up and then you karate chop it. Really? Yeah. So a karate chop is a critical part of the throw pillow. A hundred percent. Wow. They should call them chop pillows then instead of throw pillows. <laughs> that one doesn't karate chop as well. But these big ones, these are good karate choppers. So basically transfer everything that's been in that room and storage into this room where it will- and magic happens. <laughs> A lot of nooks and crannies to fill. What were you saying about the throws? Just a few. Just a few! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mindy, what are you doing? That's such a dumb idea. I know. <laughs> and then 
move Yeah, because you've moved that star around yep, like I've used times. it multiple times. I don't like it there, so I'm moving it again. So you just grab different things. If you like them in that spot, if you don't like it, then you'll move it somewhere else. So we're going to take a quick pause on the shelves and all of the little things. We're going to hang the pictures. She suggested getting these the picture frames from Ikea. They're really great. I think they're like $20 a frame. I got the prints printed at Costco. They're so beautiful, you guys. We used Michelle's pictures from our Hawaii trip, and I'm dying over them. We're going to hang those up right now. These are the pictures that Michelle took in Hawaii. I mean, I just told you guys that. But what is insane to me is that we took these pictures in January of this year. Did not have a room remodel on our radar whatsoever. Certainly hadn't looked at any couches yet. And look at the tones of the pictures and how perfect they match in sync with everything in this room I the entire it's unbelievable you guys having Michelle come with us on this trip has paid itself off tenfold we are so grateful to her her photography her amazing abilities her skills it's absolutely incredible and these pictures are going to be really the focus piece I believe in our home we've always done like a huge giant picture of the family but this time <gasps> this time what Mindy what is we that did something different <laughs> family is no longer the focus nope our own reflection <laughs> is family is still the focus it's just in a different it's area just a different <laughs> I feel like it's better located because as you walk into this room, this is what you see first. You guys are doing great. You're doing great. I was not blessed with height, so you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Brandon did hang this curtain rod. We got these little tiny flips that we're just hanging the curtain from, and I think that's kind of a fun new look this time. So we've got maybe this on top and this on the bottom. We have to just put it. <laughs> She's the master measurer here. That is not my strong suit. She had this idea to make like a little collage wall to still have the focus of this room be our family. And I feel like it turned out really great. Firstly, crushed it. They're all level and even. And honestly, it's much more family real estate space than just one picture it up there. Is. So I feel like we still have kept the focus on the family. <laughs> Real estate, space. way yeah. more real estate. See, thank you. Those lots, that's what it's crazy. crazy expensive. Like you're fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna anything right here. Oh, so this small side table. The rug has gotten super moved around, bunchy everywhere, so we've pulled it, we've tugged it, we've placed the furniture up and down. Now we're going to officially place it. <laughs> Tell them about the legs of the chairs. So when you're doing a rug in any room that you have, you want at least the front legs of any chair in the space on your rug. You don't have to have all four legs, but you need at least the front legs on your rug. Then it looks like the whole space is as one rather than it being separated into different spaces. And we did this rug because we wanted to brighten the space. And, and I it feel does. like so it does even big like time. pulling in these bright colors and the couch and the frames, it just looks so great. So I think we've got these on the hook too. I like that. How many do we do? Honestly, one, maybe two. Uh, ten. 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 Putting lots of furniture in a space will close off the space. That was Mindy's biggest concern. It does not. You can see that the space actually feels larger than it did. It's just about placing your furniture in a right angle. So we put these two chairs, a side table. Now she has an oversized coffee table, a large couch, and it looks so much bigger. My husband, when he builds furniture, the first thing everyone says after the built-ins is, oh my gosh, my space feels bigger. You think that a large built-in or something will make your space feel smaller, and it doesn't. It makes it feel larger that is so true it like as I amazing. push back this way and I keep going I'm like it looks yeah. so much bigger but it has more stuff yeah. that's crazy whenever we bought the couch obviously we didn't know what pictures we put in here we didn't know what pillow she would choose I didn't tell her any colors this is what she chose and it just all goes it, it does perfect. perfectly it looks perfect Huge, huge thank you to Lauren. Again, you guys check her out on Instagram at Project Weekly. The stuff she does is amazing. Can you guys all agree? Hit that like button if this space looks absolutely amazing. It's Turn incredible. Out. I like cannot Turn believe this down. is our space. So thank you. You love so it. much. You're Holy welcome. cow, you're the best. You're so welcome. So glad you love it. I love it.
I want to tell you guys a few of the places that I got some things. The decorating stuff, like changing out pillows, changing out like accents are a cheaper way to redesign a space. I think I already mentioned, we ended up getting this from Down East Home. I told you I got a great deal on it. I love all the pillows. She had me order nine pillows and I was like, there's no way we're going to use all nine. We used all nine. All of the pillows are from TJ Maxx. I ordered online when they have free shipping. I also got this cute book from TJ Maxx. Some of these bowls and things are from Pier 1. Again, I waited till they had good sales and I actually bought most of this over Labor Day. What? I can see myself in the mirror <laughs> getting some used to on that one. Uh, all of the designing things here on the fireplace, I actually got this off of Amazon, but both of these pieces are from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has great prices. This we already had, but most of this stuff, TJ Maxx. I think I bought these bone beads I got from Etsy. All of these books are just books that we had. I took the covers off of and they make great styling pieces. So the books are more about the color, not the contents of the books. These are not actually like show books per se. It's just that the colors work the well. The colors work well. <laughs> kind of a fun little design thing I learned today. I got this cute bowl. I got it from McGee and Company. All of these are from TJ Maxx. This is probably my favorite plant that we got. I don't know why. I just love him. He's my little love fern. This is also from TJ Maxx. Most of the stuff in this room is from TJ Maxx. But Which is I wanted... crazy. As you're saying where we got stuff, I'm like, wait, a lot of this was from TJ Maxx. But also I wanted to bring you over here. They actually have these at Target. I was deciding between Target and Wayfair. They both had them. Both great. It just depending on the color, the color of this wood. This is from Anthropology. That is normally not a place that's in my budget at all. Again, I waited for a sell. It went for a really good deal and I bought this piece. This is from CB2, which is a brand of Crate and Barrel, but they're home design stuff. Got that there. I had to include this. This is what Stephanie gave me for my birthday. This had to go in here. Super cute. I absolutely love how it turned out. The picture frame's Ikea, right? I think we talked oh. about that. <laughs> picture frames are Ikea. I did the prints at Costco and that's a very affordable place to get your prints done. Oh, and the fan. Fans from Home Depot. I bought it on a special buy so it was a really good deal. Curtain rod is also from CB2. The hooks are from there as well. And then these are just from Ikea. We actually got the wrong length, but the truth is I'm probably gonna keep that length and not go to the store and buy a different ones. I love the way it all turned out. The side benefit to all of this is we were storing things in here and so this was just piles of boxes and pillows and decor. And finally we've got this room back. We're able to pull all the things out. They're now in there. So now we have a nicely designed room in here, which is nice. Everything's just feeling clean, more open. It's looking great, sweetie. Put together. And one thing I will say that we did is I bought a ton of stuff. Just just knowing I'd have returns. If you're not able to do that, that's fine. Just buy a few pieces that you know that you will make work, but I do have a pile right here. Every so all returns, this is going back. All this is going back that we're not gonna use. I may use a few pieces in the basement because we're gonna spice up that room a little bit. So I might use a few pieces down there. That is the full remodel, the reveal, it's Love done. It. We did actually come up with one more thing we might do. We might paint that fireplace black. Yeah, That's I a possibility, that's a possibility. But if we do, we'll show you guys that, of course. So what do you guys think? Smash the like button. If you're not able to comment, make sure you let us know how much you love it by hitting that like button, you guys. We are so stoked to have had the help of Lauren. She made this thing amazing. She, she made it fun. She is awesome. She helped me with budget, finding things in good deals, and her design is so amazing. Huge, huge shout out to her, you guys. Yes, check out on Instagram, at Project Weekly. We'll put it in the description. Also, you guys, what room is coming up? next. We know we've got to do mom's what? office downstairs. We know we got to redo the theater a little bit. We've I got need some, a few days. We've got some things coming up, you guys. So look forward to some more fun and exciting room remodels and reveals coming up, coming your way. We're stoked to do this. This is kind of fun as we go into the cooler weather. Kids are in school. You can kind of play with the house a little bit. It's so fun. Make it your own. We love it and we love you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure to like this video and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> now you've done it. Yeah. We've already laughed. Okay, yeah, and here we go. <clears throat> I hope I can keep all these plants alive. <laughs> I don't know if you said it loud enough. You're so dumb. <laughs> They're fake plants, people. Just wasn't recording. <laughs>